Am I the A for not inviting niece and nephew to my wedding? My fiancé, 32 female, and I, 32 male, are getting married next year. I am English and she is French. We live in England, though. We decided to get married in the south of France, in her hometown, as it's a nicer place with better weather than the UK. We told everyone our plans two years before, so they could start saving and make plans as it would be over a weekend. We got a huge farmhouse with bedrooms and clamping tents, so all our family and friends can be in one place. Friday to Monday, wedding on Saturday. We decided that we didn't want children at the event and told everyone within 18 months to go that this was the case. Went one-to-one -one with our friends that had children and explained this and they all said, no problem. Apart from my sister. She said that it was a family reunion and a family party and that her two children, time of the wedding five male and three female, should be invited. I said that this is our choice for a number of reasons. We don't have children. Our dog would be there and he is reactive to children, so will cause us stress. There's an open pool, so the venue said legally we'd have to hire a lifeguard if anyone under six is at the venue. We don't like children and we want our parents and family to be present and not having to care for kids. It's selfish on our part, but this is the one day when we'd like everyone to just be present, especially my parents, who would end up caring for them, and I want them to be there for me. My cousin was married recently, and he said that he was upset his dad spent the entire wedding looking after his grandson and didn't speak to him. My sister said that she might not be able to come as her husband, who said he didn't want to come to the wedding, wouldn't be able to look after the children. Whole other story, but not my problem. We gave her 18 months to find a solution, but we can't do it for her. Either way, it meant a lot to her, so we compromised and said we would do our official ceremony in England so she could attend and be there with my niece and nephew. So they were there officially when we got married, and our event in France would be a celebration. That was how we met her halfway, and she could still come to France and relax and have a few days drinking and having fun, all paid for by us. She has since said that if her kids aren't invited to France as well, she won't come to either event. Our reply was fair enough, if you don't want to attend either, that's your choice. You are still invited to both. Your children are invited to our ceremony in the UK, but we won't change our minds. Am I the A? Now for the top comments before the updates. Apart from my sister, she said that it was a family reunion and the family party and that her two kids, time of the wedding, five male and three female, should be invited. And right off the bat is where your sister screwed it up. This is not a family reunion. It's a wedding. This is not for the family, but for the people getting married. Which means that unlike a family reunion, there's going to be a lot more people than just your sister's family. There will be your partner's family. And likely a handful of friends on both sides as well. That's not a reunion. You are also doing two weddings, one where kids are allowed, one where they are not. This should be the end of it, but your sister seems to want to dominate things and be the one in charge. Totally not the A. Not the A at all. I would just tell your sister that you don't know what the hell she's talking about because there is no family reunion. It's a wedding for you and your fiancé. That's why you are paying for it. If it were a family reunion, she would be on the hook for paying for things. Tell her she is more than welcome to come as long as she can find some sort of accommodations for her family and is okay with not being allowed at any of the wedding-related things, events, or location. 
she would have to plan and pay for reunion types of things on her own for her family to do around all of your wedding events and be okay when people choose to celebrate your wedding with you instead of splitting off and being rude to other wedding guests so they can cater to her need to be the center of attention for everything to be about her. You have managed to articulate and capture our feelings better than I could express myself. Thank you for the response. It's nice to get an external point of view. Thank you. She says that it's a family reunion. It's actually not. Your wedding is an event you are hosting, centered around you and your partner, and the guest list is reflective of the event you are hosting. And on the whole, this does not sound like a kid-friendly event. It's selfish on our part? It's not. And you went out of your way to meet her halfway. Not the A. My fiancé greatly appreciates the perspective of it being both our families and friends. That needs to be taken into consideration. We've got lost in my side's drama so much that it has gotten pushed out of the picture. She says thank you, and so do I, for giving her some perspective again. Update. Just to address some of the comments, didn't realize there would be so many thank you. Initially, when we were planning, we knew we didn't want children there, but thought about daycare. We were going to organize on-site daycare service where parents could leave their kids to be looked after and keep popping in to see them. My sister said no way she would be allowing that and she wouldn't use it. Her kids would attend the wedding and spend the day with family. So after that, we changed to no children, as it's easier. It's over a number of days, but the official day is still only one day. Some family and friends are coming for just the Saturday, flying out in the morning and leaving Sunday morning. It is also an option for childcare, should it be easier. She would have been in her own room, not a glancing tent. The flights there are maximum two hours, so not thousands of miles, so it's an easy journey. About our dog, I mentioned reaction as it was easier for a quick post. He likes teenagers and babies. Toddlers that are running around and screaming scare him. He likes to chase and herd them, being a herding breed. We've worked on being scared, but hard to change the herding behavior. As that would happen with two children or more, it's best to avoid it. I was quick to say we don't like children, just that we are not fussed. We don't have children, but at that point in our life, we have lots of children in the family and friends' children we adore and spoil. Just when it comes to a wedding, we won't choose them to celebrate with like we would adults. I was not careful with my words. Final update. Just had my sister on the phone calling me a selfish pig and an evil jerk for not inviting them. And if I don't, then she'll never speak to me again. She doesn't care at all about how we met her halfway and changed our plans. Her kids should be at the family event. How dare I say who can and can't come to our wedding? So there's that. Just read the final update. Your sister is making her stand. It's stupid, but there it is. So tell her, fine, if that's what she wants, and then do exactly what you want to do and don't worry about her. Whether or not you like kids, whether or not you need to hire a lifeguard, doesn't matter. Your wedding, your rules. She is perfectly entitled not to come. Now she's decided that she's going to try to browbeat you into having her way. Tantrums aren't going to work for you. Congratulations and enjoy your day and anybody who wants to tell you to listen to her, cut that noise out. Tell them the decision is made and you are no longer discussing it. And then if they keep it up, just hang up and walk away. Not the A. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.